Maryland's highest court has ordered the resentencing of Lee Boyd Malvo. Malvo was 17 when he and John Allen Muhammad went on that deadly shooting rampage. Well, now 20 years later and after receiving multiple life sentences, a judge will decide if Malvo deserves a lighter ruling. But why now? Casey Nolan talked with local legal experts. 20 years ago, for three weeks in October, across the DMV, just stepping outside felt like a life and death gamble. You go out in the morning, you don't never know if you're going to make it back. Ten people shot and killed at random and more injured by the so-called D.C. snipers John Allen Mohammed and Lee Boyd Malvo. Mohammed was executed for the crimes. Malvo, who was 17 at the time, was sentenced to life without parole in both Virginia and Maryland. But Friday, Maryland's high court ruled Malvo deserves to have his sentencing reconsidered and ordered a lower court to take a second look. The communities were on edge for sure. Congressional candidate Glenn Ivey worked the cases as the then Prince George's County state's attorney. But I think it's also fair to say that um, there have been changes in the law over time and also changes in science. I think there's a better understanding now about the maturation of the brain, especially in young males. Which Ivy explains has led to the new law the court cited to give Malvo the new sentencing hearing. And I think his lawyers were certainly focused heavily on the fact that he was influenced by um, a, an older man who apparently was fairly charismatic, who led him into doing this. I think from the prosecutor's perspective, um, you know, he there were 10 people who were killed in, in this um, sh shooting spree. Uh, so I think they'll be representing those victims. The date for the new hearing has not been set. And while parole for Malvo could be possible, attorneys and even the court in its own ruling say it is unlikely considering his ongoing Virginia sentence. Casey Nolan, WUSA 9.